what better place to do our evening journaling than in bed? I personally. Oh, and let me introduce you to my cat, Danger Zone Honey Bear. He's going to be journaling with us today. He actually loves journaling. <laughs> As in, he spends a lot of time lying on my journal. He's so cute though, isn't he? Anyway. <laughs> I journal on my bed quite a lot. On my bed, on the sofa, on my yoga mat, on the floor. Those are the main places. Sometimes in cafes. Not lately because we've not been allowed to go to cafes. <laughs> okay, so journaling at night helps us to put the day to bed. It's a chance to release everything that happened that day and make way for a peaceful night's sleep and just to clear the slate and close the day to make space for what's new the next day, what's, what's to come. So we've got five questions and two minutes to answer each one. I've got my timer here to keep us within that time frame because it's nice. It's nice, otherwise you can get lost. But as usual, as always, uh, press pause. If you have a lot to say, say it. Don't limit yourself. It's better, what's that saying? It's better out than in. <laughs> All right, what was the best part of today? Got about a minute left. Okay, well done. Next question is, what is the biggest, or what was the biggest challenge of today? Two minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
got about 15 seconds left. Okay, well done. You're doing great. <laughs> Third question. What has today taught me? We've got two minutes. Twenty seconds. <laughs> All right, well then. This is a really important one because I think we have the tendency to hold on to things far beyond their expiry date and make things mean more than they really do. And the practice of letting go allows us to create spaciousness and freedom in ourselves, in our bodies, in our life experiences, and in the way that we perceive ourselves. So the next question is, what do I need to let go of? Two minutes. Often for me, what I need to let go of are expectations that I have of myself. I have a tendency to expect a lot from myself. And in some ways it's wonderful. It's wonderful that we're able to hold these grand visions for ourselves. But it also means that when I don't always meet myself or the world or life in the way that I want to, that I can be quite hard on myself and so one thing that I consistently need to practice letting go of is this expect expectation of myself to be or show up in a certain way so I need to really really let go of that and, ex and practice appreciation and acceptance and recognize that you know I'm on my own journey and that's all part and parcel of it. 
I thought I'd share that because maybe you feel something similar or maybe it's completely different. <laughs> anyway, those two minutes are up. Next question. How are you doing? How does this feel? It's quite interesting, isn't it? It's quite fun to explore a little bit deeper around what's come up for us during a day to close it, to, to finish it, to create some completion around it. Last question. What can I celebrate or be grateful for today? And for me, this is the easiest question because I'm looking for ways or things to be, to be grateful for all the time. And so I can already feel the list arranging itself in my mind before I begin to write it. So two minutes, what can you celebrate and be grateful for from today? Here we go. Got a minute left. I'm writing the things that I'm grateful for first, and then I think I'm going to, no, I, not I think, I'm going to <laughs> write about the things that I want to celebrate from today. seconds left. Well done. That's our evening journ journaling <laughs> completed. I usually like to give you a magic bonus question to close off and I think this time a really beautiful way to end things if you have some more journaling left in you is what do I need to know from today? What messages came through for me today? It's going to be fun exploring that one.